I have made a program and it's now available for you all to download and try out for free. So the idea of this program is to help you optimize Windows and also make it easy for you to find game config files and also save data. So let's go ahead and take a look at what the program looks like. And here it is. This is Easy Gamer Utility, or for sure, EGU. So straight away on the main home screen at the moment, you can see that you can clean the cache for Steam, Epic Games, Ubisoft, EA App and Battle.net. I've also added the two options to clear your Nvidia cache or your AMD cache. So you can see there under Epic Games, it's not actually found any cache, so you're not able to clear the cache files. And that's also the same for the Ubisoft Connect. And the reason for this is because I've not simply opened up those launchers in a long time and I have used this program to clear the cache. So let's take a look at clearing the Nvidia cache files because I've got an Nvidia graphics card. The first thing that I want to do though is click on open folder location. You can see this is now taking me to the location where the Nvidia cache files are. So you can see here we got the DX cache and then you got the GL cache. So if I now close down File Explorer and then click on Clean and then click on OK, you can now see that it's cleaned all these cache files here and it's listed all the files that it's cleared. You can then click on Close and you can now see that it says Finished on the button. So that's how easy it is to clear the cache files for your graphics card or any of the game launchers using EGU. And if you would prefer to do it yourself manually, instead of having to hunt around on the internet and try and find the location of the cache files, you can simply boot up this program and then, like I said, click on open folder location. So if I click on battle.net, you will then see the cache files. If you're wondering why it says that I can clear the AMD cache files, that's because my processor has a built-in AMD graphics card. Now let's take a look at the game files tab. You can now see that there's a list of different options for games. You can then select one of the games that you have installed on your computer. So for example, I've got Hogwarts Legacy. If I select this option and then click on save data, it will open up the save data location for Hogwarts Legacy. I can then do the same by clicking on config files and it will then take me to the location where all the config files are for that game. So you can see here, we've got the game user settings config file and loads of other files there, which we can then use to make changes to, obviously on this instance, Hogwarts Legacy. So at the moment, I've not added too many games, but I will add more games when I release new updates for the program. And I also want to have it so eventually it won't display a massive list of all the games. It will only detect the games that are installed on your computer and show those. Not only that, but I also want to add a lot more other features to this program, such as being able to make certain customizations to Windows, which you would normally need to go into the registry editor to do, but you will be able to simply click onto a button and then do it, making life a lot easier. I also want to add obviously other features as well. If there's some features that you would like to see in this program, then let me know in the comments below, or you can go to our website, which is where you can download Easy Gaming Utility, and you can do this at the very bottom, and then click on download now, and you can then leave some suggestions on features and stuff that you would like to see in EGU. Also, if you do like this program and you want to help support us, then you can click on donate here at the very top of our website and it will take you to PayPal where you can leave a donation if you want. So that does pretty much bring me to the end of Easy Gaming Utility. So like I said, I will add a lot more features over the coming months. If there's a feature that you'd like to see, then let me know. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did like the video, click the like button below. And if you want to see more updates on Easy Game Utility, then click the subscribe button. If you do subscribe, then I will see you in the next video.